Prince Harry dated ex-girlfriends before Duke of Sussex proposed to Meghan. Chelsea Davy and Cressida Bonis, two of Prince Harry's most serious ex-girlfriends, have already been spotted at the royal wedding. From serious relationships to rumoured flings. Here's a look at the women Prince Harry romanced before he decided Meghan was the only one for him. Pinkham, a TV sports presenter who reports on F1 racing, reportedly first met Prince Harry at the 1999 Rugby World Cup. They briefly dated in 2003, according to Us Weekly. And while Pinkham is now married with two children, she and the prince have apparently maintained a friendship over the years. Sumner, who previously dated actor Russell Brand, met the prince at London's Genoite nightclub in 2003, and shared a risque account of the night with a newspaper that begins. He made eye contact as I stood at the bar with friends and invited me to join his private table. It wasn't long before he began cuddling up to me. Apparently it was just a one-time thing. I can't see myself getting invited home for tea with Prince Charles and Camilla, she said. Zimbabwean-born Chelsea Davy was Prince Harry's first serious girlfriend. The two had a serious though on-again off-again relationship from about 2004 through 2011 during which Davy met the Queen and accompanied Harry to his brother's wedding to Kate Middleton. The attention was apparently too much for Davy though. It was so full-on, crazy and scary and uncomfortable. I found it very difficult when it was bad. I couldn't cope, she told the Times. Davy is now a lawyer and runs her own jewellery line. She and Harry parted ways amicably. I think we will always be good friends, she told the British publication. Harbord a friend of Kate Middleton's, was briefly linked to Harry in 2009 during the off-again phase of his relationship with Davy. According to News of the World, the couple spent a night at a club before heading back to Clarence House at 3 a.m. Harry and Flack, an English television presenter who previously hosted The X Factor, were reportedly introduced by their mutual friend Natalie Pinkham in 2009. Flack is said to have given the prince the nickname Jam because he's got jam-colored hair and he's really sweet, she reportedly told friends. But the pressure of the constant attention was too much for the TV host, she wrote in her autobiography Storm in a Sea Cup. Once the story got out, that was it, she said. We had to stop seeing each other. I was no longer Caroline Flack, TV presenter, I was Caroline Flack, Prince Harry's bit of rough. The English singer, songwriter, and model reportedly met the prince at the Asprey World Class Cup at Surrey's Hertwood Polo Club in 2010. And she told Closer magazine, Yes, I'd have met Harry, and we did go out for a drink. Harry reportedly broke up with King because she was too open about their relationship. The Norwegian rock star reportedly told friends that not only did she spend the night at Clarence House in 2010, Prince Harry served her breakfast in bed in the morning. Harry hasn't confirmed the account, and the relationship doesn't seem to have lasted much beyond that. Brunel Bruce and Harry reportedly dated in 2011, following his split from Davy, a daughter of the Earl of Cardigan and cousin of English singer Beau Bruce. The blonde model may have been the one to end the brief relationship with the prince. She felt he had a wandering eye all the time and she wasn't really into not knowing who he was flirting with or talking to when they were apart, a source told. She's now married to a different ex-boyfriend, multimillionaire banker Henry St. George. One of the prince's serious partners, Bonus and Harry reportedly dated from 2012 through 2014. After being introduced by his cousins Princess Eugenie and Princess Beatrice, Bonus is an actress and sometime model who has worked with Burberry and Mulberry. Despite reports that she and Harry parted amicably, when news broke of the prince's engagement to Meghan, Bonus posted a cryptic message to Instagram that read, No matter how educated, talented, rich, or cool you believe you are, how you treat people ultimately tells it all, with the caption, Truth caught his stole the bit. Pop star Golding and the Prince may just be friends, but they certainly have a history together. Golding sang at Prince William and Kate Middleton's wedding reception at Buckingham Palace in 2011 and at the Invictus Games in 2014. In 2015 Golding and Prince Harry were reportedly spotted canoodling under a blanket at a polo match. And she made a mischievous grin and looked away when she was asked about the prince on camera. 
Harry met Meghan after a mutual friend set them up on a blind date in early July, 2016, and the rest is history. Prince Harry rocked an incredible old orange outfit for a fun new video to celebrate the upcoming Invictus Games. The Duke of Sussex joined members of the Netherlands team for the video which saw him practice his Dutch. Before taking off his hoodie to reveal that he was wearing an orange tree and orange sweet pants, matching the nation's colours. The Duke and Duchess of Sussex made their first public appearance together at the Toronto Games. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, would you please help us like, share and subscribe our channel. Wish you happy to see our videos, thank you very much.